Joined now by the USC women's soccer head coach in his second season, Kidani McAlpine, Jordan Moore, and John Jackson. The segment brought to you by the BMW Mission to Drive. Lease a 2015 BMW 320i sedan for as low as $369 a month with zero do it signing. Just sign and drive. Details at SoCalBMW.com. Well, we enjoyed a nice selection show lunch today, coach, and uh, they rolled it up the dice, I guess. They shook the dice. You came out, you're a four seed. Uh, you know, what did you think about, uh, about your seed and your draw? Well, first of all, I was I was really surprised about the seeding. Uh, you just never know. Um, but credit to the team. Uh, they did the work this year, and I, I, I thought um, it's always good to, to get recognized for your work. And uh, Fullerton, great team, two great forwards. They, they're used to winning last year. They went up to Stanford in, in the first round, and uh, they were up two. Ended wow. up losing 3-2, so um, not an easy Let's not do game, that. Yeah. But, no, no, uh, don't scare us all. <laughs> shoot, I, I don't need the heart attack, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's the thing. I mean, when it comes to, you know, the, the selection process, I mean, it's always, you know, you can always analyze it in 18 different ways. But you're for as well as the season is gone, that's a tough draw for the first round. That's a really tough draw. <laughs> but, you know, uh, first round typically is a little bit more regional. Um, yeah. They, they shipped a couple teams out of here that I thought we would have played. Um, but at the same time, you know, you, you still got to play the games. Well, you got the program your first year right back into the NCAA tournament. You, you lost a close one at Pepperdine in, in PKs. And, and, and now you get your second shot you know, with the Trojans. I'm, I'm wondering, you know, Coach K wrote a whole book on his NCAA tournament philosophy and how he does it. Do you have, like, a, a, a real philosophy and, and approach that you want them to take to the tournament, or, or do you want them to basically keep the same approach that they have going? Well, with this group, um, last year was about teaching them how to win, win games again and, and, and get, build their confidence back up. The spring we did a lot just in terms of their mentality, how we want to play. Um, and then this year just kind of being, being in the moment, one moment, one now. We talked about earlier in the year. We've stayed there. Um, the last five games of the season, we, we really locked in on. We actually had a chance to win the title, so we were locking in on five to win. Um, and so we've been in this mentality for a while. Yep. Uh, little did they know we have six games to win a national title. And I was, <laughs> I was trying to get them to start thinking with that in mind. But uh, that's, that's sort of been the focus. You know, and it, uh, I moved forward a little bit too fast. We're talking about the playoffs. I got to go back to UCLA week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go back. I got to okay. take it back to UCLA week. You, know, the, the, you, you take your team in. You beat UCLA for the first time. 0-15, was that the first number? First time right? ever, ever in Westwood. Ever in Westwood. Um, you know, obviously, and you win, and you win two nothing. You know, just reflect a little bit back on how that, you know, the feeling of emotion. I mean, you know, for the, for the for the team. I mean, to understand the history of the rivalry and then able to accomplish what they accomplished. Uh, for me, it goes back to last year in the Coliseum, ten thousand people. Yeah. Uh, lose a, a tight game two zero to the defending national champion, and watch them celebrate on your field. We had a moment. <laughs> <laughs> one moment, one then. We, we had a moment. Uh, and, and from that day forward, we, we started focusing on uh, the, our time in Westwood. And uh, I thought the first half, you, you could see it a little bit, a little too high, a little too emotional, didn't play that well. Second half, settled in and started to look like ourselves. Not to mention Morgan Andrews played yeah, the whole I was gonna bring up <laughs> I was going to bring up Morgan Andrews because, you know, we've talked to you in the past and how crazy the recruiting is in your sport, and you've got to start recruiting people that are 12 years old, and that's about the only, everyone else is committed. <laughs> yeah, but crazy. you were able to tinker with the roster a little bit in the last couple of years, and one of those is bringing in Morgan Andrews, and that's paying off. Uh, she's big time, man. She is one of the most talented and most competitive people, um, but genuine. She loves to play. She loves big games. She was – she got injured in the Stanford game, yep. didn't play the rest of that game, didn't play Cal. I think we missed her, um, obviously. But to see her, she begged me to play that game. <laughs> She's like, Coach, I'm ready. Coach, I'm ready. She did everything all week. And, you know, when, when that kind of talent comes into your team, it settles the game for everybody. It makes it a little bit easier. And then she's put on the show. All right, Coach. So now when you look into the crystal ball of where, where this team is at um, in terms of going forward, I mean, legitimately, how good can – is this team and if you get on the right run can we possibly see the national championship this year this year <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah okay. yeah we're talented enough um we we've, we've relied on our defending all year we haven't given up more than two goals in, in any game this year the one game we did was uh north carolina early in the season we lost that one 2-1 it's the only time um and so we're gonna we're gonna ride that and everything else 10 shutouts so uh, we're going to ride that and, and see what we, we can come up with. And I got a, I got a, 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 a recruiting uh, question. W with your system, what is more important, to get 
the girl to, to get the girl to fit the system, or the system has to fit the girl when you when you go out recruiting? Ah, uh, it's better to get the right person. Okay. Um, the character always comes first. The kind of person that we're looking for, but um, every time we we go out, there's certain qualities that we want to add to the team, um, and so we look for certain qualities. Whether and we don't really care what it is. It could be your pace. It could be your heading. It could be passing. I don't really care what it is. If we don't have it, we'll go we'll go try to find that. Okay. Um, and you know, so one class it was all about mentality. We needed some blue collar kids, and we wanted them to come from various places around the country um, to get different styles. Um, we wanted a couple internationals. They bring a more professional style. So we, we try to find certain certain traits to add to the group. Unfortunately, we're out of time. We have no time to get into the facial hair, Coach. I wanted to know about we got the, we got the well-manicured, two-tone goatee. You're going to have to watch the live That's stream to appreciate, coaches, to appreciate Coach's facial hair. It's the Euro soccer thing coming out in you, Coach. Hey, you know what? Uh, Jen, my associate head coach, she calls it my wisdom. Yes, uh, there it is. And, and with every win, you know, I get to keep it. So uh, there, there you go. Hopefully the wisdom carries the women of Troy a little longer as they head into the NCAA tournament. <laughs> and, hey, co everyone come out. What an opportunity to support this team because they get to host an NCAA playoff game this Friday against Cal State Fullerton. That's Friday at 1 o'clock at McAllister Field. So let's pack that place. It's a huge day. You got women's basketball's home opener at noon, men's basketball's opener at 5 o'clock. So everyone just spend the whole day at USC, and then you finish by watching the Trojans on TV. Thank you so much to uh, Coach. And when we come back, we're going to talk to the greatest player ever in his program. <laughs> Amy right. Rodriguez will be next on Trojans Live.